This considers how many LEDs are in the mask and how well these LEDs are delivering light to 10 different zones on your face. Because at the end of the day, even if you've got the right wavelengths and the right dosing, if you're not getting that light into where it needs to go, you're wasting your time. Okay, so first up, I score on LED chips. Now, when you look at a mask, you'll see the big LED diode or bulb, as some people call it. Within this diode or bulb, you'll see one, two, three, sometimes even four chips. Each little chip is putting out a different wavelength, and the more of these, the better. So, the top scoring mask here was the Project E Lumalux face mask. Now, this had a whopping 800 LED diodes in it. It's extraordinary for a mask, and no one was even close. Therabody came in second at 650, and then in third place, it was the Block Blue Light Mask with 488. There are a couple others above 400. Personally, if I was buying a mask, I wouldn't settle for anything less than, say, 350 LED chips. So, that would include the Lumara, Viso, the Nanoleaf mask, the Rojo, Dorada, and the Iristore mask. Now the masks with a low amount of LEDs are still going to work. You're just not going to get a nice even spread of light on your face. Or you may get good coverage in the cheeks, but not around the eyes for instance. 